Hey, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today, we want to talk a little bit about what a good contract looks like. Um, here's one of the contracts that we've had. We've had for roughly almost five years now. Um, this contract pays out um, $6,028 a month. It's a 11 hours a day, seven days a week contract, roughly 77 hours a week. And um, and it's, it's, it's a great contract. Um, the numbers look good. Uh, when we did the numbers, when we ran the numbers, everything lined up for what we're looking for. Um, normally, large contracts like this, we want to at least walk away with $1,000 cash flow um, after we pay the Jan Pro fees, after we pay the uh, multiplier, the financing fees, and after we pay our contractors payroll. Um, and this fits that um, in our and in, in what we look for as putting a thousand dollars in our pocket every month. Um, it has uh, also some additions to the contract. So you know, if if we were to get called in after hours, it's one hundred and twenty five dollars per per room that we would have to clean after hours. Um, it has a carpet extraction of forty four hundred dollars a month. It has a top scrub of $461 a month, a strip and wax of $877 a month, and a full uh, Ecolab uh, strip and wax for and floor finish for $1,228 a month. So it breaks down. You can make a lot of money with this contract. It's a large facility, um, but it, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent contract for us if it's all of our criteria when we look for a contract. And actually, the contract breaks down um, like this: um, the monthly cat, the monthly billing on this contract is six thousand and twenty-eight dollars a month. After we pay Jam Pro franchise fees, we're paying out thirteen hundred and twenty-six dollars a month. Um, with financing of twelve months, we paid five hundred and two dollars a month with that financing, and our contract to payroll was three thousand eighty dollars a month. So we net cash flow at $1,120 a month. And that's when we were paying, that's not including the 502 that we were paying in financing. Um, since that contract has been paid in full, we're actually adding that 502, that 502 back into the con the cash flow, which comes out to 1640 a month. So this actually exceeds what we're looking for. Uh, we normally look for thousand dollars. This actually is putting sixteen hundred and forty dollars a month back into our pocket as cash flow, and um, we're not having to work physically in the building. We're just having to manage um, the contractors within that building. Um, so this is what we look for as what a good contract should look like, um, especially one that brings in roughly around 72 and some change a month, uh, 72,000, I'm sorry, $72,000 a year. Um, this is what you're looking for. You're looking to roughly, you know, after payroll, pay yourself um, without physically having to go in, you know, um, and that's what we're looking for. So when we look at our, when we, when we look at our contracts, we're looking at them, just like we would look at our real estate holdings. Every real estate holding, you want to make cash flow. Regardless, you know, you want to make $200 $400 per door with real estate. So that's what we look, that's what we contribute to our cash flow with our franchise, our, our Jam Pro business. We want to make cash flow. If the if if the contract is not not cash flowing after all expenses. We don't value the contract. The contract is not any good for us. So this is what we look at when we when we're evaluating contracts. I, you guys should just make sure you run the numbers when you're looking at and evaluating contracts. Make sure you're running the numbers, and if that lines up with, with your financial goals, then accept the contract. If it doesn't line up with your goals, turn the contract down. It's okay to turn down contracts. Jam Pro are not going to always give you good contracts. So turn them down if it doesn't line up with you financially. Um, once again, you know, I just wanted to go over what a good contract looks like. And um, this is one of those good contracts. Um, this is actually a, a pretty decent contract.
And uh, with the contract of this size, you, you're going to have some calls. You're going to, you know, people are going to call out. You know, you got to be able to manage your contractors in this large facility. But it's been working out pretty well with us. We have some hiccups sometimes, but that's all about managing your your, your contractors. If you can manage your people, you could you could really thrive within the Jam Pro system. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to drop by and share this video with you on how a good contract should look. Hey, you guys, if you um, if you wanted more advice with us, you know, reach out to us. Also, pick up the ebook. Um, it's a ten dollar ebook on how to build a successful Jam Pro business. Pick it up. Um, it gives some good gems in there on how to build a strong Jam Pro business, successful Jam Pro business. And until next time, hey. Um, I'll see y'all later. Thanks.